Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Today is Wednesday, August 9th, 2023, and we have a special video today. One of our community members here reached out to me. She had posted this in our signal support group, and I told her if no one responded to let me know so that I could put it out to my followers here on YouTube to see if we can find this little boy a home. All right, you guys. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about a four-legged little friend here. This puppy, Butch, is looking for a home. He is now at the animal justice let me make sure i'm saying this right the anim uh the, the justice loop league sanctuary so this is an animal sanctuary um where butch was delivered um so let's read his story i know i'm probably gonna cry i'm gonna try not to because i just put my makeup on <laughs> and i got a lot of a lot of filming to do today so let's read this this is a sad one so buckle up and read on on july 15th 2023 this poor pup was found limping across a fast and busy highway one of our volunteers is an EMS worker and was driving to work one day when he saw the animal struggling and limping across the busy road. He did not know what animal it was yet, but had decided to stop and take a closer look. After he stopped and examined the animal, he realized it was a male puppy that was malnourished, beat up, scratched, and cut up, and had a very bad broken leg. It looked as if he were thrown out of a fast vehicle and left for dead. Our EMS volunteer decided to grab his partner from work and come back for the puppy with a dog carrier and continued to bring the puppy to his EMS base where he provided emergency medical attention. The puppy stayed there for about 24 hours while the EMS volunteer continued to care for the animal and finish his shift. Then the EMS volunteer had brought the puppy to the LJJ sanctuary where he continued to help care for the puppy as well for pay, as pay for any vet bills. We have another volunteer that works in a veterinary office in our town and he came to look at the puppy and then took the puppy in the following morning for x-rays and an examination on July 17, 2023. From this point on, the vet put a cast on the puppy's leg to try to save the leg from amputation because of how badly it was broken and already healing incorrectly. Unfortunately, after five days of JLL Sanctuary and the EMS worker caring for the puppy, the leg showed signs of worsening. We sent the news to our vet volunteer and he came to the rescue and quickly examined the puppy and re then removed his cast. The vet continued to cut the cast off to further examine the leg only to find and confirm that the puppy's leg needed to be amputated. We were all heartbroken but did not lose hope. Our vet volunteered hurry to get the puppy into surgery but not but could not get the puppy in for another two days we cared for him along with our ems worker taking shifts and watching and tending to butch finally the day came that our vet took the dog into the office and performed the surgery to amputate butch's leg on july 24th 2023 the surgery was a success while it was a success it was still very sad because butch now only has three legs it quickly became easy to look past, though, because his second chance at living a life full of love, fun, and food, he is currently doing well and is now healing. So from here on out, Butch is healing and get re getting ready for his forever home while he is on a continual upswing. One thing for sure is Butch now has another chance at life, and this is only the beginning for him. Please do consider adopting Butch to nurture and love him in his newly gained life. Yours truly, JLL Sanctuary. All right, you guys. So if that is something that you are interested in, obviously you guys know that my my baby Ravi was an adoption from India. And you guys know that my foundation not only works with um, slum kids, but we also rescue dogs in India who uh, have been abused and get them new homes in the United States or Canada because the United States and Canada are the only two countries that will take the dogs immediately without putting them in quarantine. And so if you are here in the United States or if you are in Canada, I would suggest and you want to adopt this beautiful little boy butch um, please, please, please reach out to this animal sanctuary. Rachel is the one who sent me the information. I wish, I wish we could take him. Oh, God, I wish we could. 
And, um, and I'll say, Rachel, if, if still no one reaches out to you, let me know because I will find somebody here in Atlanta who will absolutely take him if you can't find anybody. So anyway, the phone number is right here as well as the email adopt a pet at justice loop league.com. I will put all of these links down in the description box below. So you can just go immediately to it. Um, and again, if you go to butch's page which is the page it'll pull up on with this link you can read his story and we can look at the general information he's an unknown uh, lab mixed breed uh, approximately four months old male size small medium color brown town uh brand brown tan marking bridal style house trained no not yet uh vaccinated yes neutered spade no and i will say for this guys i know a lot of you watching are anti this um but when you when it's rescuing dogs because i know this from my experience you do have to have some of these just to get the dog into a particular uh facility and so this is the lesser of two evils than just leaving the dog to die and so like in my situation with our baby once we got him to the united states with everything he needed at that point we ceased doing any more of these Okay, so that was our choice was just to cease that once he got through the United States, got through customs. So um, I know Catherine Edwards has spoken about that as well, that you have to pick the lesser of two evils when it comes to adopting um, an animal. So if you're interested in adopting, you send this right here, write a little message. Or again, you can call. Um, here's some more pictures of this baby. Look at that face, you guys. And I'm just anybody who rescues animals you have such a the, i have so much respect for you because this is one of the hardest things to do um because these animals you know at least with human beings there's some understanding there's a, a conscious understanding of what's happening but for these little babies um they don't really they're just scared and they don't know and sometimes the only interactions that they've had with humans have not been positive and so it takes a lot of for them to develop that trust and it takes a lot for the human to be able to be patient to give the dog the time the dog needs or the cat needs to um to be in a position of of, of earning that trust with that animal but god they just um they add so much to your life um, adopting my baby robbie was the best thing i've absolutely ever done he is the light of my life i just can't imagine him on the streets i just it just breaks my heart in fact funny thing is uh we just got a new memory foam ma mattress and uh we were laughing because robbie now he sleeps in the bed with us he like doesn't move at night because he's just so comfortable and that just does my heart so good as his as his mama um to give him that to give him that that good life and to love him and yeah so anyway you guys if you're interested in adopting butch then please contact the email or the phone number above and hopefully we'll get this baby in a home. I'm sure they're going to ask you some questions. We, when we uh, adopt dogs out, we always do a background check on the people who are adopting the dogs. Um, and we tend to like to keep up with the people who uh, the other dogs that I've rescued uh, five, no, six other dogs that now live with other people. And we, I know my friend Mark and I who do the dog rescue from India, we like to keep up with the people who adopt the dogs just so they can, we can see how the dog's doing. And I know for us, and I can't speak for this, this nonprofit, but for us, if somebody does make an adoption and they find that the, that the dog does not fit in their home, we ask that they contact us so we can take the dog back um, and not send it to another facility because there are kill shelters and we don't want that happening. I think kill shelters are just awful and they should be shut down. Um, so we want to make sure that the dog isn't rehomed in a, in a, in a good, uh, a good loving home. So anyway, guys, um, so that is something, please, uh, if that happens where you ever adopt an animal and you find it doesn't work, please reach out to the facility you adopt, the sanctuary you adopted it from, or someone else. Hell, you can even reach out to me and we can find the dog a, a loving home um, to save these these animals' lives. So thank you so much, Rachel, for for all that you guys are doing um, for these, these animals. And um, this is the service to others path. And so let's help these little two second density creatures find their way into their forever home. You know, I, I like it when, when people say the day my dog came home, um, my dog came home after three months of living in India. He finally came home. 
And so let's uh, let's get this dog to finally come home. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon.